Hey YouTube, it's that guy here. Today I want to talk to you about the Victor Knox Fisherman. This is a four layer knife, a 91 millimeter. And just to get some of the specs out of the way real quick on it, it's a 91 millimeter, it's three, which is three and a half inches long. The blade is three inches or 76 millimeters. Opened it is 159 millimeters, which comes out to about six and a half inches. And it weighs in at 128 grams, which is approximately three and a quarter ounces. Now this particular knife I got around 1979 time frame when I was stationed over in Germany. And as you can see, it has the fish on it and the shield. One way you can tell that it's an older knife is that it has the metal toothpick. The top of the toothpick is metal. And another thing is on this model it has the Phillips head screwdriver. And if we can get it to focus, you'll see there's a little bit of slot right there and that's for opening up the cans that have the need to use a key ring and as you can see it's a little rounded and has flat sides on it and then the awl does not have a hole in it for sewing and those that's the back side it has opening layer can opener screwdriver and bottle opener screwdriver with wire stripper and then the scissors your fish scaler and hook dislodger with ruler standard on one side and metric on the other and then your large blade and you can see the tang stamp there with officer swiss on the back and then the small blade and your toothpick and key ring now as i said i got this one around 1978-79 i got its brother although being much much younger this past weekend and I'll show you the differences between the new one other than just being shiny and the old one you can see right here on your toothpick it has the gray plastic and then on the back side as the all with the hole, your parcel hook, and then your Phillips screwdriver, which is rounded on all sides. And it doesn't have the slot in it for the using as a key ring. Now, I got a real good deal on this one. I was at the Tulsa Gun Show this weekend with my buddy. Uh, he was looking for a, a, a good price on a rifle. Didn't find it. Or find the what he really wanted. So he didn't get one. But I was wandering around. Saw a guy had a box of knives on his table. And I started going through it and pulled this knife out. And he says, I'll let you have it for 20 bucks. I couldn't get the money out of my pocket quick enough. Very good deal. And it's almost brand new. <laughs> There's one or two little dings on it, but it's basically fairly brand new. Now, there's another model I'd like to show you. And that is the Victor Knox special blue angler 
and you notice the fish this is a five layer knife I got this in 1986 when I was uh, over in Europe and saw it and thought it was a rather cool knife didn't realize it was a five layer I thought it was the same as my fisherman but it's the angler I'll put that up there it's the angler and I tried to do a little research on it the only thing I could find was a picture sac wiki that said it was the special blue angler and that Victor Knox runs a, does a special run every so often for this knife this is the only one I have seen since I got this in 1986 I think they had one or two there at the store when I bought it didn't realize it was so special I probably would have bought a couple more but anyway I got this and the only difference between that and a fisherman is this weighs in at it's a 91 millimeter model and it weighs in at 180 grains which comes out to about four and a quarter ounces and instead of having the Phillips on the back it's got a corkscrew and the all is the same the fifth layer on this is the metal saw with file coarse and fine sides and one other difference is the scissors and if you look there you see a little bit of a scallop or notch on the blade of the scissors and then look on the back side of the other blade you can see where it's has a small scallop on it this is for cutting the heavier fishing line and also to cut the leaders the metal leaders that some people use for larger fish but other than that it is pretty much the same I don't know why Victor Knox does not put the shield on here but they don't they just answer your curiosity there you can see your tank stamps now the only picture I saw of this it didn't have the key ring it had a uh, nickel silver bale it looked like here at the the front so I'm wondering if they made it with the the bale and then when they started doing the key rings that they made another run of it with the key ring that's my only guess <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the little review here of the fisherman and the blue angler and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and remember always be prepared <laughs>